Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Jingle those spurs, Miss McFarland! Sure. You know, 
You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. What exactly are you waiting for? You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Stay on the main road. These horse trails will destroy the wagon. Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. It is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Excellent to see you today. You bet I'm rich in a valuable 
Dear sir, hello. Looks like I was born. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Why, thank you. Odd fellow Chris. It could be open for business. driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> up you and what you want my name is John Marston you wanted to speak to me I did apparently so why I guess because we're both in the business of the law <laughs> you that fella from the train company no, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Go on now. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. You want to get out of here for a minute? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickie. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burned-down settlements up there. 
I got a bunch of cattle ruffers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. So who are we looking for? Uh, a bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Now, let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. <laughs> Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. As bad as you say he is, why don't we just beep him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. That law is easy money for easy work. Shoulder Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Come! Come on! We got company, boys! Damn! Take cover! We'll work our way up this hill. Arson, I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. to that crate. I got you covered. Watch out for that bastard behind the rock. You ain't getting there, Walton. Ladder rope. Make your choice. Take 
him down, boy! Nice shooting, boy. I'd have preferred him to swing, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. At least we got them, son of a bitch. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marston? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. 
Bill Williams just folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land. Nearly there. Let's go. for the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. What can I say, partner? Let's push it. Watch out. Looks like there's a couple of snipers over there. God damn it. Take out those snipers, boy. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air.
get these sons of bitches! Stay close! It looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. That's all of them. Fine shooting, boys. Now, come on. Let's untie those hostages. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. 